<clears throat> hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. I just finished watching This Means War, which is a 2012 uh, romantic comedy spy film uh, that is directed by Muk G. Yes, kind of a silly name. He's a rapper, by the way, that's why his name is that. But Mick G, despite his name, has made some bangers, honestly, as far as movies go. I really liked both babysitter movies on Netflix, so I was willing to give this a try. And uh, overall, it was very, very funny and very endearing, but it is a genuinely terrible spy film. So if you want action and spy stuff, CIA stuff, do not watch this. But if you want an endearing romantic comedy with a little bit of hijinks, then you will enjoy this one. So thankfully, I actually like romantic comedies more than spy action stuff. So I am the target audience for this one. Um, so I personally like it a lot, but uh, yeah, I will concede that this is probably some of the worst spy stuff ever. So This Means War is about two CIA agents played by Chris Pine and Tom Hardy who uh, basically, f they foil a, um, their mission at the start of the film, so they're grounded and put on desk duty and they're very bored. So Tom Hardy, um, he goes on an online dating service and uh, he meets a lovely woman named uh, Lauren, who is played by Reese Witherspoon, and uh, they connect instantly. It's amazing. But a problem arises because uh, Lauren also bumps into Chris Pine and uh, they also hit it off. So now she is simul dating two, these two guys who are best friends at the office simultaneously. They're both being very deceptive uh, because they can't legally tell her their job, I believe. Uh, but they're also going above and beyond. So they enter this kind of not so friendly competition of who can win her affection and get to be gets to be with her, and uh, they pull out, they abuse all of their CIA resources to plant bugs all over her house and, you know, look back into her history of what makes her tick and her favorite things that nobody would know, etc. And they're monitoring each other throughout the entire thing, and it is very funny. So, the positives of the film, super funny, like genuinely laugh out loud funny. You're gonna audibly be you're going to be like making noise throughout this film for sure. It is very funny. It's a uh, interesting premise, morally questionable, obviously, but I felt like they executed it very good. So honestly, nothing sus here. Uh, I feel like if you were to release a movie like this today, maybe it would uh, not age as well, but I think it's fine, you know, because it is essentially, it's two men in a power positions who, in the government, who are abusing their CIA resources to plant surveillance all over her home, right? And that includes sex tapes and everything. So yes, that is like inherently a bad thing, but I think the film was endearing enough and uh, explained that away well enough that it, it was just executed good, so it was enjoyable. It wasn't creepy or weird, it was fun and enjoyable. I felt like even though both male leads are obviously, um, they're not bad guys inherently, but in fact they're kind of the opposite. But they're obviously going about the situation in the worst way possible, right? But that's what makes them kind of like innocent, dumb puppies. That you kind of, you're on their side anyway because they just don't know any better. It's just not cluing in for them. So I still liked both protagonists and I was still rooting for them both, which creates an interesting dynamic. Also this film has a Good love triangle. I know, love triangles are usually annoying, forced, and just terrible, but this film has an excellent love triangle that works very well. Um, also, yeah, so as far as the negatives go, well, it's all the spy stuff. Everything to do with spy stuff. So there is this secondary main plot. I know that doesn't really, that's kind of a contradiction, but that's what I would describe it as. There's this secondary background main plot about this generic villain guy and it just occasionally pops up throughout the film. The, the movie's pretty short, they're going by things pretty quickly. Um, so this whole generic villain thing, I couldn't really tell you what he wants, why he's so mad at these two, 
he's just an enemy of the CIA, nothing more. Doesn't really add anything to the movie, and it basically just serves no purpose. The action also felt clickbaity to me in the sense that, you know, they're, they're holding guns in the poster right here. So I expected them to use them, but not really. You get two action th scenes in the entire movie. One at the very start and one at the very end. And they're not exactly the greatest action scenes ever. So the action's terrible, the spy stuff is terrible, but the comedy is great, the romance stuff is great, the love triangle's working, and it's an interesting kind of taboo area, I guess, uh, because it's all about CIA surveillance and while simultaneously being a romance thing. But it's executed very well, so I'm able to forgive all that stuff pretty easily. So I do like Th This Means War, and I would recommend it. Also, this is not a negative or positive, but last thing I want to say before I end the video, I've been finding more and more personal connections to lots of movies, and this one is no exception. I, I think it's because I've just... I've met and interacted with a lot of celebrities in my life now, so it's all kind of coming together. It's like a big web. Everyone knows a guy who knows a guy. So once you kind of befriend one celebrity, if that makes sense, you kind of get into that world where you're with all of them. So I've, I've just been noticing more and more people in places that I've been to and people that I personally know and interacted with. So for this film, I have two personal interactions, personal life things I wanted to share. First of all, the awesome paintball montage scene with Tom Hardy in this, I have played at that exact paintball field several times. It's uh, located in, it doesn't exist anymore, but this is an older movie and it's, it did exist back then. I, I, it's in Vancouver, I'm just kind of, I, I, was, I was younger when I went there, so I can't remember the exact, if it's like South or West Vancouver, but it's Vancouver and it's pretty cool to see how identical it is. Like, I swear, everything about that scene was one for one of like places I've seen by myself. I always love stuff like that. It gets me so giddy and excited to see locations that I've been to myself inside movies. This is actually the second Chris Pine movie that I've been to a place where he was. Actually, no, Chris Pine, because this time it was Tom Hardy, right? The other one was Star Trek Beyond. Star Trek Beyond f uh, filmed some scenes, you know, about an hour, not even an hour, like 10 minutes that way. So a place like the, uh, the Chief. So, yeah, <clears throat> the chief is a, is a mountain, but you wouldn't know that, you wouldn't know where it is, but, you, so, just the fact that, yeah, I, I've played on that paintball field, the place where he throws a grenade into with all the kids, I've hidden in there from people before, I've played on that field several times, very cool to see it in a movie. The other thing is, uh, this one's even more personal, this one's a bit crazy actually too, to think about, a little bit surreal, I almost haven't processed it entirely, so, Chelsea Handler is the fourth lead in this film. So she's like, basically she's the background, not background, she is the, she's the moral support of, for um, Lauren in this film. And the reason Chelsea Handler is insane to me in this is because she is very literally a friend of our family. So my own mother, you know, just spent the day with Chelsea Handler a week ago and we just I just watched this with my dad and my mother just now and we didn't know Chelsea was going to be in this so to see an actual family friend of ours in the movie was pretty surreal for us so yeah it that was pretty insane so Chelsea Handler very famous comedian and um, is uh, is so yeah just insane to me just crazy to me so yeah anyways I'm gonna give this means war a 7 out of 10. Uh, it is, like I said, awesome, very funny, but trash spy stuff, trash action. But to be honest, I don't really care that much because I don't, I didn't really watch this for action anyway. But for people who do want action, I will mention that this one is kind of baiting you and baiting switching you. It's like, it's like a movie marketed for men that's secretly for women. But luckily, I like movies that are for women because I just enjoy them. So I'm not too mad about it. So This Means War, 7 out of 10. I do recommend it. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.